I'm Nick Driftwood, Lumix ambassador and UK filmmaker. In order to capture the best quality audio and video, or in situations when we want to record a single audio track but multiple camera angles, we often find ourselves needing to sync video images with audio in post-production. Timecode is a smart way to streamline this process. Timecode is a clock that counts in frames. Timecode can be synchronized across devices to ensure audio and video synchronization on a frame-by-frame -frame level. It also acts as a reference point for making notes on set, making feeding back to the editor that much easier. Especially if you're on your 20th take and you want the exact same scene. Timecode clocks can either be internal on one of the devices or can run independently of the capture device. Synchronization can also be done without timecode in a manual way using a slate or having your talent clap and using the scratch audio to sync. However, timecode is often a much more accurate and certainly less time consuming option. These are the two main modes of timecode to note, free run and rec run or record run. Free run timecode is used when you want to know the actual time at which events that are being recorded occurred. Think for documentary or sports events. In free run, the recording device runs timecode continuously regardless of whether you are shooting or not. It's important to remember that because the timecode counts in frames and regular clocks do not, there may be some drift between the actual time and the time code over long periods of time. Free run is the most commonly used mode when you have multiple cameras and audio recorders. This is because you don't have to worry about stopping and starting all your devices at precisely the same time. In record run, the recording device runs time code only after the camera is recording. It counts only the frames recorded so that the total runtime is a reflection of the total usable footage. Record run is less frequently used, but a good option in shoots with a single camera and audio recorder. Currently, both the S1H and GH5S have time code ability in out via the flash sync port on the front of the camera. The camera comes with a cable like this. This allows you to securely connect an industry standard BNC cable by the flash sync port in order to sync timecode. If you're working with other timecode capable cameras or audio devices, you can use cables to synchronize across the various devices, choosing whether to make the S1H or a GH5S the master or slave device, if you have an external timecode generating device. For the cameras which don't have native timecode ability, like the GH5 and the S1, you can use a device like this one, the Tentacle Sync E. This allows you to record timecode directly into one of the audio channels on your camera, either through the 3.5mm jack or via XLR. Once you have your timecode capable and non-timecode capable devices set up with the Tentacle system, you can use your phone to wirelessly sync the timecode across all the devices. When setting up timecode, you'll need to choose a timecode frame rate which will determine how many frames per second are counted. And it's important to note that the timecode frame rate must be the same as the project frame rate of the video you're recording in. For example, if you're recording 25 frames per second, make sure your timecode frame rate is also set to 25 frames per second. Diving into the timecode menu options on the S1H, we can see there are a number of menu items. The first option allows you to display the timecode on the monitor. The second option gives you the choice of free run or rec run. For this tutorial, we're going to stick with free run. Timecode value allows you to input a custom timecode value if you're using the camera as the master timecode device. HDMI timecode output allows you to pass timecode 
to external recorders via the HDMI. Lastly, the external timecode settings options allows you to choose either timecode in if you're using an external device like the Tentacle Sync, or alternatively, you can select timecode out if you're using cameras as the master timecode device. The final option is to use timecode output reference, which allows you to choose between recording reference, which is the option you'll use in a multicam setting, or HDMI reference, which is used when you simply want to record externally via HDMI whilst retaining the sync. It's important to note that certain timecode devices are more accurate than others. You know, there's always that possibility of drift. If you do get drift, always remember to resync your devices and certainly at the start of each recording session, ensure all are time synced up. These are the timecode options on the Lumix cameras. Panasonic.